really are going to get it done today, and just to prove it, here it is. Butcher block top with the butcher block oil, 100% slide out doors, solid wood doors with removable shelves. So stay tuned. Well, welcome to another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 154. Uh, today we're going to finish that uh, kitchen island. This is uh, part two of two. I already showed you the uh, finished project finished project in the uh, intro because it's too big to have right here. Um, but we do have some excitement. We got some uh, uh, parts that we worry about fitting and we make a new kind of door. And uh, anyway, it's going to be pretty exciting. So let's knock off the chit chat and get to work. I'm finishing the inside of the cabinets. I uh, don't normally finish uh, things on these uh, cabinets that you can't see. But in this case, I was wondering if I should or not. So I figured if I had to ask the question, then I might as well, uh, I might as well do it. Using for my uh, movable shelves, is this uh, shelving stuff here it comes in these 12 or four foot lengths or six foot lengths and then you cut out what you need and install it in dados in your in your box you don't have to put it in dados but I find it works better if you do uh, that way your shelf can go all the way over to the uh, wall of your cabinet and then maybe this is obvious but you got to make sure that that the, the pieces you cut are similar so that so that the in this case in this brand of this pegboard here these are half inch inter, uh, intervals and they're numbered so you kind of figure that pattern out on your sheet and you know then you can cut them in in those increments okay once you've done the preliminary work then it's real simple um, I made sure that my two pieces are identical I marked a line up here at three inches on both of my dados I simply put my piece right in there and then you just screw them in. And the system comes in and is, the shelves are held in place with these little clips. See how they're designed? They simply uh, the top little notch goes in the top wherever you want it and then presses in at the bottom and then it's held in place. This is a two two foot span and you know I, I don't want to put three quarter inch plywood in here you know I don't want to make it that heavy so I'm using this uh, half inch plywood, it's a little less than a half an inch, and I'm putting this uh, oak edge on it, it'll be a, a slide off ledge, it'll be a slide off ledge here, keep things from sliding off the shelf, and it'll also reinforce the, uh, reinforce the shelf. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, build us some doors for these three cabinets. Let's talk about that. My original plan was to build uh, our three doors using this design here we use for the wood cabinet. Uh, this is uh, oak around there on the frame and then this is oak plywood. And we still may make them like this but I'm going to experiment with another idea. 
My idea is to make the uh, doors uh, out of solid uh, oak and then put the same detail around the edge. Now you don't normally do that, uh, make doors with solid wood because it can twist, it can cup, or it can warp. Um, but I think this is the doors are only about 16 and a half inches square, so we may be able to get away with it. So I'm going to give it a try. First thing I'm going to do is run uh, my stock through the uh, joiner, clean the edge up a little bit. Of course then, after I run to the joint, I gotta make sure my joints are all good. These look okay. I don't know if you can see the little numbers, but I got the boards numbered too. And then these little lines here, if you can see them, that's where I'm gonna put the uh, uh, biscuits. I'll be uh, putting this uh, thing together with these size 20 biscuits. My goal here is to uh, clamp these things up all in one go using my uh, pipe clamps. I'll go ahead and tighten this thing down and see what kind of, see what kind of damage we can cause. Well, I wasn't feeling that, uh, that glue up as you probably weren't either. So I'm uh, just going to use regular clamps. I'm going to go ahead and take these these doors out of the clamps, but I'm not going to mess with them. I'm going to I'm going to let them sit overnight. The main reason I want to uh, take them out of the clamps is so I can scrape some of this glue. Before it totally cures. My main concern is these, that these uh, this glue up will cup. That's the reason you don't normally make doors out of solid wood. But I'm gonna let them sit overnight. Now, they're flat now, but I'm gonna let them stay flat overnight and see if see if we can make this work. Okay, well. We're letting that, uh, letting those doors process. Uh, this is, this wood here is, is some of that recovered, recovered wood we, we made a few weeks ago uh, when we uh, took that old TV stand apart. I'm gonna make shelves out of it. Not quite wide enough, but I'm gonna put this little, uh, I'm gonna put this, band of uh, band of wood on it now this uh, edging operation is kind of delicate I'm I'm nailing through oak through oak here into oak and my target is only a half an inch on the other side so I got to be pretty precise when I nail this Or I'll get I'll get some blowout. Oh, well, that worked. Then our little shelves go in right just like this. And there's our adjustable shelves. I'll uh, stain them up and we can start worrying about those doors. Well, so far our boards uh, are looking good. And importantly, And importantly, they're sitting uh, flat. 
So I'll finish sanding and uh, we'll try to cut one of these to size. So our door will fit right in here like this. Okay, I'll go over and put the this round over detail on it. I think they're going to be small enough. I don't think we're going to have any problems with warping. We'll see. Well, I'm attaching the door. And we'll uh, see if it works. Well, it seems to, but I think we have another problem. I won't know exactly until I do this second door, but I think I might have made this uh, uh, this style here, or this stringer here, about maybe an eighth of an inch too narrow. We'll have our answer here in just a minute. Well, it appears to work. Okay, I'll go ahead and try to fit the other one. Well, the doors all fit. I added these uh, little magnetic catches. Uh, the doors close all right now, but that doesn't mean they will five years from now, so. can't remember if we talked about how these shells are made or not. Uh, they're made the same way as the shells we made for the cabinets. Uh, just a piece of uh, half inch plywood with um, some oak trim attached. Okay, I got these uh, shelves done. This is really the last thing we need to construct. We've got a lot of uh, sanding and uh, staining to do. I'll do that offline. Uh, the next thing we're going to work on is the um, is the top. And that's what the uh, shells will look like finished. Let's, uh, let's stain the front now. I'm getting the last of the staining done. I think I'm going to take this, take this thing off this uh, tall, this medium workbench here. And put it down on the dolly. This might be the biggest and heaviest thing I've ever... Uh, tried to cut on this. It's probably a better way to do it, but I'm uh, looking forward to the challenge. Well, it's almost drum roll time. I got this thing cut and uh, you saw me edging a little bit with the uh, router. I'm going to sand it off and stain it. We're 
we're going to finish the top of this with uh, butcher, butcher block oil. Uh, no stain, no poly. Uh, because theoretically, you can use this thing as a, as a breadboard or you can actually cut. You know, you can actually cut on it. Put a coat on, wait for 24 hours and put another coat on. It says you can do it in six hours, but I think, it, I think it works better. Let it sit longer. Well, there's our uh, kitchen island with our new top we made with uh, finished in butcher block oil. Got these 100% slide out drawers. Six of them. Got these nifty cabinets with adjustable shelves and uh, magnetic uh, catches. Solid wood shelves. Um, I've still got a polyurethane on this so I haven't put the uh, knob on here yet. But let's look at the back of it. Here's the back. Uh, again, we've got adjustable shelves. Oak and maple. So, pretty satisfied. Well, that'll do it for another Memphis Monday. <clears throat> Memphis Monday 154. Uh, building the uh, kitchen uh, island and work uh, station. Uh, part two of two. Oh, we had to split it into two parts because there's just so many, there was just so much to do. So many so many parts in this thing that it's just hard to get through them all. Um, I still got a uh, polyurethane to put on it and this and that, but right now I'm still waiting for the uh, stain to dry. We did have a, a pretty good excitement today. We didn't know if those doors were going to fit. We didn't know if they were going to curl up like a pretzel. Uh, so we did have a, uh, quite a bit uh, of adventure there. But anyway, like and tweet and comment and Facebook and uh, chat and everything else you do on the internet uh, but most important what is it that's right make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday thanks for playing along